Uh, my name is Mary Kolu Masakoi. During the Civil War, it was harrowing. Really harrowing. I could have been evacuated, but God did not give me too long to think about it. Just overnight, really. <laughs> they kept ringing me every hour. Do you want to come? And by the time the morning came, night shift was over, I slept it all off. They had left me. But it was a great time of uh, knowing God using me uh, to help other people. It was also the scariest time of my life up to that point. I'll give you an example. I went, I was on my way to work, met a man, because we didn't have any news anymore on the radio, nothing. Met a man and asked him what's happening. He said, oh, leave these boys, the fighters. The UN is going to send planes to bomb and flush them out. And I thought, man, don't you know that they'll flush all of us out? So I shook like a leaf as I went. But when I got to the entrance of the hospital, the children's ward, the peace of God came over me, all fear left me, and wisdom came, and I needed it because no other nurse or doctor came to work that night. The children were doubled in the beds. Instead of 30, we had 60, and some had come from the war front, very, very ill, malnourished, and just breathing, almost breathing their last. Attendance in people seeking health information dropped from uh, for the five percent to zero. Calls to my sister has not finished yet. Um, now I've it's all done. Ebola it has receded. However, as you heard recently, that nurse in the hospital that is worrying. So I am going to continue calls to my sister. Uh, dealing with Ebola, however, BCB, that's the Bradford Community Broadcasting, has taken me on and they've just trained me to be able to do my own recording and I'm involved in a program called Senior Moments. I am not senior! <laughs> <laughs>